Well, there you are, Aunt Louise. And I wish you a bon voyage. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Now, there's just one more detail. You know, I expect to go on two months, and I want you to take very good care of my shop. I refuse to let strangers run my business. But, Aunt Louise, I don't know anything about business. I'm a football player. You were pretty good on the gridiron. Said so this should be easy for you. Huh. This is going to be good. A bull in a china shop. Now, see that my luggage gets down to the boat like a good boy, will you? Bye, Jerry. Aunt Louise, I won't be responsible for the shop. I'll take a chance. Why, my customers are just going to love you. Now, hurry on. Get on down there. Okay. Good morning, girls. Good morning. 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 Uh, a little more powder on the left cheek. Yes, sir. A uh, little less mascara. Yes, sir. You? You're a mess. Look at that pan. Fix your apron. You're liable to drive business over in the next county. Listen, you tonsorial sap. You're no valentine. A face like yours has set the human race back a thousand years. Silence. Mutiny in the beauty parlor. Oh, I don't know why I tolerate you. Maybe you love me, you Yankee clipper. Hey, I never thought of that. <laughs> I thought maybe it was rheumatism. <laughs> now, girls, girls, look. When the new boss comes in, I want you to give her a great big cheer. You know, the one I composed yesterday. Yeah! Now, look, look. I'll do it for you again. Now. Ra ra ra! Sis boom ba! Facials permanent! Ha ha ha! If you want to look young and your husband please, don't fail to come to the Maison Louise! Ra! <laughs> ah, silence. All right, girls, now let's go. Pardon me. Uh, sorry, no full of brushes today. Now, just come on, a go. moment. Huh? Why, I'm the new manager here. <laughs> oh, I, I knew it all the time. Look, we were all set to give you a big welcome. But skip it. Let's get to work, huh? Okay, girls, back to your post. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> Say, between you and me, I think I'm gonna like it here. Yeah, <laughs> it grows on you like a beard. <laughs> I hope you like it here and just call me a long judge. Say, what's the idea? You're late, Miss Dean. I'm sorry, I missed the bus. Yeah, well, don't let it happen again or you'll miss a job. Yes, sir. By the way, this is our new boss, Mr. Uh... Manners. Jerry Manners. Yeah. And you may go now, Alonzo. If you're not booked up, Miss Dean, would you have lunch with me today? I'd like to, but I don't think you should show familiarity with your help. It's not good business. Maybe you're right, but I'm not a businessman. Is it? Yes? I'll let you know later. Oh, Mrs. Vanderpool, you're next, please. Come on. Follow me. I want a facial, a permanent, and a skin peel. Very well, Mrs. Vanderpool. Oh, Miss Brown, Mrs. Vanderpool. This way, Mrs. Vanderpool. Thank you. This is the third manicure you've had today, and yesterday you had four, and the day before that, three. I know, dear, but it's the only excuse I can find to be near you. Well, after all, you're the boss. I suppose I have to be nice to you. Oh, is that the way it is? <laughs> Here all along, I've been thinking you like me for myself. No matter how you travel, will be my way. Who knows what we'll encounter on the highway. So let's begin to take it on the chin together. If what we think is fortune in the distance turns out to be a thing of no existence. So let's begin to take it on the chin together If our skies of blue should turn to gray again We'll simply grin and bear But now that lady luck has come my way again Think how swell it will be to share it If we play the game without excuses Maybe we'll go aces, maybe losers but lose or win, we'll take it on the chin together. If our skies of blue should turn to gray again, we'll simply grin and bear. But now that lady luck has come my way again, think 
think how swell it will be to share it if we play the game without excuses. Maybe we'll draw aces, maybe do but lose our win, we'll take it on the Chief, it's a gold mine. Why, our very fortunes are in that pot. What is it, a breakfast food? Oh, no! That's my brainchild. That is eternal youth clay. Well, what'll it do? Oh, what won't it do? Why, one application takes 20 years off you. You mean a woman 40 years old would look like 20? And a woman 20 would look like a little baby. Oh, why, Alonzo, you're wonderful. Yeah. Now, let's see you demonstrate it. Okay, boss. Now you're going to see the miracle of the age. And if it goes over, I'll notify the press. Yeah. And the Maison Louise will become famous. Right. Oh, listen, boss. You're not going to let this dope experiment on me. I'm no guinea pig. You're not going to let her face stand in the way of my career. It's my face, and I like it just the way it is. Oh, please, Nell. This means a lot to all of us. Oh, sure, honey. Come on, sit down. Hey, I've never seen a dame look worse, but I'll make you look like Peggy Joyce. You lucky girl, your face is in my hands. And after my great work, you'll have ten bows. Now you haven't got one, what a break for you. Your face is in my hands. Big diplomats will call for you. Swell motor cars will call for you. Millionaires will give their all for you. Now from that big grand. And when you're pretty, ask it be, you may even win a guy like me. So thank you, stars, your face is in my hand. How I must have been insane to listen to a man with a peanut brain. But now I'm stuck, my face is in your hands. Just think how miserable I'll be when my Airedale starts to bark at me. I'm out of luck, my face is in your hands. What have I done to deserve this fate? I can't understand. But you'll be sorry before you're through. I'll get my revenge by marrying you. So do your worst. Your my face is, is in Oh, look out, honey. It's hot. Ooh. Ow! That's all right, honey. Oh, you'll be beautiful when I'm through. No. Oh, they'll never know you. Yeah. What happens now? Ah, oh, this is the great moment. I say a few words in magic. Abba dabba dabba hot chop cha, and she's a little child again. They are. Oh, Frankenstein's bride. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? My oh, face, look at it, look at it. You look at it, I can't. Gee, loosen the jaw, she can't talk. Maybe we ought to leave her that way. Oh, do something, please, do something. All right, I'll fix it. <laughs> Oh, you beast, I'll sue you, I'll put you in jail! Gee, it's a good thing you didn't notify the newspaper men. Why, this would have ruined my aunt. Oh, that's just it, I phoned them, they're all coming this morning. Uh, oh, Mr. Manners! Mr. Manners! Yes, gentlemen? Say, how about that beauty demonstration? Oh, yes, uh, yes, the beauty demonstration. Oh, but first, I'd like to have you gentlemen see how our shop operates. Yes, okay. Okay. Yes, well, make yourselves comfortable, boys. Hey, okay, thanks a so lot. We specialize in loveliness. Our customers expect the best. They're exchanging old faces for new. Their features may be out of line, so we must make them look divine. Revamping old faces for new. It seems each day at closing time, some dowager drops in. She wants to look like Harlem, though she has a true chin. If you can do that, you're a better man than I am. Confident, remodeling old faces for you. We often make a wallflower bean with a touch of rouge and a dash of green. Redressing old faces for you. We can make the plainest lady fair with a nipple here and a dimple there. Retouching old faces for you. Some women drag their husbands in as bored as they can be. Wait, wait until she's through.
Gentlemen, uh, follow me. Okay. okay sure. Now, gentlemen, I take this little lady into the booth and with one application of eternal youth clay, 20 years rolls off her like peas off a knife. How old are you now? 41. She'll be 21 when she comes out. This way, madame. Please, gentlemen, this is a secret formula. The results will flabbergast you. This He's a fake. Why, you never can tell. Maybe he can do it. Sure, maybe the guy's on the level. You can't tell. Okay, look, you change clothes with us. Hurry up, hurry up. Come, come, come. Here. Come Gentlemen, there she is, a work of art. How old are you, lady? Just 21. By gosh, they did it! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, you saved the day. <laughs> she saved our lives. And now, gentlemen, as I said before, huh, you look at this and look at that. Gentlemen, if that is true, it would simply revolutionize the cosmetic industry. Gentlemen, I am going down there and buy them out. Oh, that's it. Don't give me that. You kind of go for him, don't you? What do you think? I think you do. What do you think, girls? Does she? I'll say she does. I've got to see a little man I owe a lot to. He doesn't expect me, but regardless, I'm on my way. Maybe he'll think I'm intruding, but I've really got to. Perhaps he will give me a moment in which to say Thanks, Mr. Cupid Your dog that gives my heart fits mad at long I want to thank you for that old canoe Thank you for that lunch for two Thank you for the man I Madame Louise, I'm Alphonse Pinaire, president of Pinaire Cosmetics, Inc. Oh, yes, Mr. Pinaire, just a moment. Oh, Mr. Manners. Oh, Mr. Manners, this is Mr. Pinaire. Young man, I'm willing to offer you $50,000 for your eternal youth claim. Why, that's very generous of you, but... Uh... 100000 Come, 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 do not quibble. I heard that last crack and I'm interested. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Pinaire, meet Alonso, the inventor of eternal youth claim. Uh, bonjour, monsieur. How do you do? Now, of course, before I buy this clay, I must have a perfect demonstration. Oh, oh, oh that's a cinch. I want you to demonstrate on my wife. You... <laughs> uh, Mr. Panair, there is a limit to my skill. Nothing can be done with that face. Oh, how dare you! You imposter! 
You will demonstrate on my wife's face, or I will have your face in the hogs gallery. Very well. Come, madame. And now, young man, I want an application of eternal youth clay on my face. You know, I must look as young as my wife. Oh, Miss Kelly. Oh, Miss Kelly. Yes, boss? Please give Mr. Panair an application of eternal youth clay. What did your face ever do to you? Oh, come, come, come. Let's get started. Okay, you ask for it. Come on. Madam, when we're in court, please, will you tell the judge to go easy on me? <laughs> I hope you have a hard skull. Uh, you're gonna need it. It's all right, it's all right, lady. It's all right. Your suffering will soon be over. Work. And you have ruined my face. You ah, have... Lord, no, Lord. Ah, Unhand that woman. I will sue you for fifty thousand dollars. Look, his beard is gone. Huh? Sucker blur. It took me twenty years to grow that. I got it, Mr. Freeman. Whoopee! We rich. I'll give you fifty thousand dollars for the world right. Not interested. Peggy, just sat. No, not enough. Hundred thousand. Sold for a hundred thousand. Oh, punk! You're naked. Where is your beard? Oh, never mind my beard. Yeah, we. Oh. <laughs> 